The next mount that we're going to check is going to be the front engine mount here. You can see it right here. This is it. There's a 14 millimeter nut right here on the top and then I'll show you what it looks like from the bottom. In order to get to that nut there you still need to have the battery tray and air box off and then we went ahead and took the front part of the air box on the front of the engine here off as well. This is what the engine mount for the front looks like underneath the car. You have two bolts here on the engine, transmission, then you got two underneath here, and then the one that's up top. Once you get the bottom mount unbolted from the engine in the frame, this here is what it will look like. It has a little bracket there that has the three bolts that goes onto the engine. And then this piece here that I'm holding with the rubber is the actual mount. When you order from the parts store, it's going to come with just this piece here and not the bracket. This is the old one here. As you can see, it had a bolt going through it. And the rubber is just completely in the two pieces. And it melted when I tried heating the bolt up to get it out. This bolt wasn't able to get out, so I cut it off and then bought a new 7 16 bolt, washer, and lock nuts. And I got it all back together with a new new mount, old bracket, to mount right back onto the engine. Well, once you get it installed, there's the bolt up there on top, the two right there, the main bolt for the mount, two new nuts right there. Make sure you tighten up those two nuts. And the one right back there. And you're all set with the bottom mount.